Hey, hey, welcome to another episode. I'm Cliff, and today I'm going to be restoring these cover plates back to clear. See how they're all like not clear? Yeah, really, really dirty. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. The whole stack. These go on my welding hood, and when it's like that, I don't like to weld with it. So you're probably wondering, I thought this guy does like metal sculptures and crazy stuff with metal. Isn't his name Dr. Frankensteel? Isn't that his channel, Dr. Frankensteel? Why is he dealing with plastic? Well, I do. This is kind of related um, because it's for my welding hood and I can't make anything if I can't see. I took on the name Dr. Frankensteel because I'm always messing with something that's trash run away or dead on arrival. It's trash to someone, but I just kind of... I bring it back to life or give it a new life. So Dr. Frankensteel brings me back to these cover plates. I have a few that I made out of some polycarbonate. It's uh, one eighth from Home Depot. I redid the side panel on my computer case. It was like a dark glass. I didn't like it because I wanted to see inside of my computer. It's all like lit up with lights and you can do RGB rainbow blinking back and forth. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff with it. I wanted to see the inside, so I replaced it with some of this stuff. I had some left over, so I went ahead and I traced out one of my welding lenses. I can probably get, I can get one more out of that. Instead of just throwing it away, uh, I just make use of it. These are Miller cover plates. If you buy a pack of five, it's $20. I have 12 plates here. So if I revive 10 of these, I'm saving $40. Make them clear again. It's $40, I won't have to spend. Money's tight right now, my wallet's on a diet. It's getting really, really skinny. Um, I bought Shield and Gas the other day for my 7525 small tank. They wanted to originally charge me like $80 to fill the tank. Price went up, it used to be like 30 bucks, but they brought it down to 50, but even still, stuff's getting expensive. <clears throat> my favorite sandwich at Subway, it went up $3. Ugh. Oh, come on. I'm pretty sure everyone's trying to save a few bucks here and there. So this is how I'm going to do it today. So to take out the scratches and the pits and whatnot to make it clear, they're not clear. I don't want to walk through that. I have this stuff that I bought from AutoZone. Fine cut cleaners, specially formulated cleaner designed to remove light stains, scratches, water spots, oxidation, and other paint problems. It's made for paint, but I'm going to use it on this. I also have some polishing rouge. This is white. This is usually made for metal. They have different colors of this. Is, it's clay essentially, but they have different colors. That's different grit grits. Like, like with the rouge, you have black, you got brown, you got gray, you have green. But white, white is usually the finish. There'll be certain steps to it. You go brown, you go green, and you go white. You can use it on a couple different wheels. This is what I have, what I've used quite a bit. It's just a cotton wheel stitched together. I'm gonna use it on my drill. That's what I got. Usually people use a, a big buffer or a bench grinder. They'll add this to a bench grinder and they'll just uh, polish their stuff on it like that. I don't have one of those. So I'm just gonna use my drill. Put my drill in the vise and polish it out like that. Same concept, just a little slower. It's what I got. I just found this in the shop mat. I was using it. You can get this stuff at like Harbor Freight. It's like $3. Let's go ahead and uh, get to polishing. I'm gonna go ahead and try this a little bit. See how it works. And I'm gonna try this stuff. You know, you'll you'll weld and get to get a bunch of smoke and spatter on it, and then you wipe it off. You weld more and more, and you'll wipe it off. And then when you're wiping it off, you're scratching the surface. You're taking all that dust and you're rubbing it into the plastic. That's how it's getting all kind of foggy now. It's just a bunch of micro scratches. And you see all those little pits on there from spatter from the weld hitting the lens. So let's go ahead and get into some polishing. So how I apply this stuff, this is my way. You can do it however you want, but this is my way. It's gonna be so shiny. Ugh. Don't need a whole lot. So to start out, we just need a little bit. That's a little bit to start. And you just spread it out. Rub it in a little bit, whole surface, and just cover it like that. Now you can do this by hand, but just keep doing that until that's gone. You just keep rubbing it in. Eventually it'll disappear. But if you're going to use the wheel, this is what I do. I'll get the wheel spinning. Just imagine this is spinning. I put it in 
and it's spinning. I'll start at the bottom, work my way in swipes. I swipe at the bottom and then I'll slowly move upward. So I just do a zigzag all the way up. And when I'm done with one side, then I'll start at the bottom, go side to side, slowly moving upwards. Just like that. You can spin it to the side if you want, go over it like that until this stuff is gone. If it's not the way you want it, put a little bit more on, pick it again. And it's to how you want it to look. When I'm doing this, this is spinning. So it's grabbing some of that stuff and rubbing it against the plastic. So moving from side to side, it's constantly grabbing the new product, rubbing it in. Some will be left over and it'll bring it around again. It's gonna constantly grab new stuff if you go up. Now, if you go in the middle and then go down, you're not gonna get as much product on plastic. It's not gonna work as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'll try to polish this one out by hand, see where it gets me. Applying this stuff and letting it dry for a little bit, that does help too. So you don't need to use the machine. You can just do it by hand too. I prefer the machine because it's faster. It's pretty clean. You could also clean it off with glass cleaner. I'll probably get a little bit more of this stuff off. Oh, there is my hand. Not the greatest, but the ink up the machine, it still works. Now, Not too bad. Go ahead and try the other stuff. This is the stuff from AutoZone. I'm gonna try this stuff. Well, it cleaned it, but not as good as the other stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, keep going with this. Seems to work pretty good. It's not the lightest cut, but it's not the heaviest either. It's right in the middle. So I'll just use this as what I have. I don't wanna buy anything else. There's another method if you're in a real pinch. I mean like real pinch, like you ain't got nothing and you really need this clean like right now. It's not recommended because it's more of like an acid than a polish. It's gonna eat away at this plastic. And if you don't get off all of the acid, it's gonna eat at whatever is around it. So if I were to still have acid on this lens and put it in my hood, if it gets on my hood, it'll eat away at the hood or whatever you're polishing, if there's paint next to it and some of the acid gets on the paint, it's gonna eat the paint. So like I said, this is worst case scenario in the field, ain't got nothing, gotta do it, it's gotta get clean. It's the only one you got to get one, it's gonna be another day, but you need to clean. So I went down and visited my buddy Crago and showed me this little trick on my lights, my light bulbs in my car. My car is one of those Japanese soda cans. Drink all the juice and you throw it away. It's, it's a cheap car. It's, I'm using it as a gas saver right now. I don't really care about it. He's like, let me clean your headlights, man. You don't you don't care about the paint or anything, right? Yeah, yeah, I'll do you a favor. I'm gonna clean them for you. So we got some off insect repellent. Deep Woods, long lasting protection from mosquito sticks, biting, biting flies, and that's chingers. I've never heard of chingers, I want to. But bug spray, get this at Walmart, Red Age, CVS, whatever. Get that on there. 
<laughs> oh, no smells. But the acid will take off that layer of plastic. Try a little more. Sit on there for a minute. Rub it in. That's that. A little bit cleaner. It's a, it's a little easier to do the, the off by hand. You don't want to do that with a machine. That stuff would be flying everywhere. But yeah, last resort. If you do that, you probably want to clean it off the Windex as well. Like I said, last resort. Only when you got to. Or if it's all you got. Cheap and easy. Eh, at least it smells neat, decent. Bugs won't want to land on it. So, that's it for this video. Hopefully, uh... This has helped you out. Um, if you got any questions, let me know down in the comments. And if you want to see more of this content, please uh, like and subscribe. And hit the bell icon to get notified when I release a new video. And uh, have a good day.